Hello everyone, the Lord be with you. As we light these candles, we ask you to guide us through our lives. Help us to be kind and helpful to one another. We ask that your light will shine brightly in us so that we can pass your light on to others. Amen. Have you ever lost something, something that's really precious to you? Can you remember what it felt like? Jesus told some of his special stories, his parables, about people who had lost precious things. And today we're going to hear one of those stories. Today's parable is the parable of the lost sheep. So let's hear from the Bible what Jesus had to say. When Jesus talked, everybody came to listen. People who thought they were good, and people who weren't so good too. Cheats, liars, robbers and thieves. The people who thought they were good didn't like this one bit. Hey Jesus, they shouted, you say you come from God, you call him your father, so why are you spending time with all these bad people? Jesus thought for a moment. Let me tell you a story, he said. Once upon a time there was a shepherd, a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. He knew each of them by sight. The white ones and the black ones, the spotted ones and the stripy ones, the thin ones and the fat ones, the smooth ones and the woolly ones. And every night after he had called them from the fields and gathered them in their pen, he would count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to a hundred. One night he found himself a sheep short. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, he counted. But he never got to a hundred. The last sheep was missing. The shepherd looked around the pen. It's Bramble, he said. It's Bramble that's gone. And what do you think he did? Did he say to himself, I have 99 sheep left. Who cares if one is lost? Of course not. He cared for the missing sheep as much as for the rest. So he picked up his walking stick and off he went across the hills and fields looking for that lost sheep. He looked under bushes. He looked behind rocks. He looked down deep ravines. And finally, when he had almost given up hope, he found the lost sheep trapped in a tangle of thorns. The shepherd shouted, Hooray! Then he put the sheep on his shoulders and carried it safely home. Come to my house! he called to his neighbours. Come to my house, he called to his friends. My sheep was lost and now it's found. We're going to have a party. Why do I talk to people who've done bad things? said Jesus to the crowd. Because God is like that shepherd and we are all God's sheep. Some stay in the pen but others, like these robbers and thieves, wander away and get lost. So someone has to go and look for them and talk to them. And when they come back to God, God throws a party too. Jesus' story tells us that every one of us is precious to God. And that when we go away from God, that makes God sad. But Jesus' story also reminds us that as soon as we want to come back to God, God will welcome us back as if he throws a giant party in heaven for each one of us. I'm going to pray a prayer now. If you want to join in with the prayer, then at the end when I say Amen, you say Amen as well. Dear God, thank you that Jesus didn't just come for the people who thought they were good, but for everyone. Thank you that no matter how far we wander off, 
you will come looking for us and welcome us back with celebration. Amen. Now let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now go, in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.